Hi, agenda of this tutorial is sensors and actuators in car. Yes, how these sensors and actuators works in automotive. Let's see the how, what are the types of sensors. So far, uh, we have a lot of sensors. I have uh, given very few sensors with uh, respect to uh, the common cars or as well as the advanced technologies have been implemented in the high-end vehicles. So the first is rain sensor or weather sensor. Then mass airflow sensor, uh, it's generally called as MAF. Then engine speed sensor, oxygen sensor, pressure sensor, spark knock sensor, fuel temperature sensor, voltage sensor, crash sensor, foot rest sensor, wheel speed sensor, and so on. So these are all the sensors. So it's not limit. So see, we have uh, so many sensors apart from these. But uh, for your understanding, just I uh, have given few. So how these sensors and actuators relates, correlates, see? So in a very simple language I have given the sensors is sensors the respective analog signal. So what, res what is the respective analog signal is? See, for example, if you have um, the engine sensor, it, it will uh, it will senses the engine signal, engine analog signal. If it is um, temperature sensor, it will uh, senses the heat, that is analog signal. Heat is nothing but analog signal. So it, it will senses only the heat. Say for example, you, you have seen um, smoke sensor in many of your workplace. See, uh, near to the smoke sensor, if you keep some water, it will not sense. It will sense only the smoke. That means the particular sensor will, res will uh, senses only the respective analog signal and uh, none other signal can be sensed by the sensor then actuators actuators is quite uh, once the sensor senses and some uh, sense something the actuator used to activate the particular hydraulic component it may be the stepper motor or it may be anything so what are the the application which orient to the particular uh, operation so the respective actuator will actuate the sensor say you can in a simple language you can consider sensor is an input to the uh, actuator so actuator is a final output to the particular component so that the operation begins with actuator so yes this is a very simple explanation i have given then um, but these sensors and actuators how it works with the car how you know how it works with the real time car when it is uh, moving so that that's what the agenda of this particular playlist is see so for actuating these sensors with uh, with the actuator so in car we have the another component called ecu which is comes in middle with the sensor and the actuator so this is a sensor say you can consider any sensor it may be so i have not uh, specifically i have named it so this is a generic sensor this and this, this can sense anything like uh, you can consider it as a any any sensor like a oh, crash sensor or um, you know it's a uh, wheel speed sensor engine sp engine sensor or anything so this sensor senses the information and uh, for every millisecond this sensor used to uh, keep on exchange keep on send the information to the ecu the ecu keep on uh, evaluate whether the sensor uh, value is out of the range or it's not it's it's within the range or it's not in the range so once it senses then uh, it will keep on update into the actuator so the actuator will always in a in an open loop uh, in the sense the circuit is open once the once the ecu sends the information to activate the actuator at the time the circuit used to close so that the operation begins by the step uh, the hydraulic component whatever it may be so this is what the overall structure how the sensor ecu and the actuator works so whatever the sensor or what are the operation this is what the uh, basic structure that it should be and it will be so see if you yes if you like to continue with the sensor part 2 is yes, uh, will will have the in uh, from the next uh, part we will have the uh, individual sensor say for a wiper sensor right uh, rain sensor with the wiper actuator will be on the next tutorial as continue as a part 2 yes if you're interested yes you can hit a like and if you're not subscribed you can subscribe catch you in next tutorial until then bye bye